My name is Ron Cotrin de Figueiredo and I'm the chairman of the National Tourist Authority of Portugal. Good afternoon and thank you for talking to Breaking Travel News. Um, perhaps you could start by telling us what uh, developments we've seen in tourism in Portugal over the last year. Over the last year we've seen an astonishing degree of growth. We are growing up to August as compared to August 2013, close to 12% in guests and a similar amount of um, growth in terms of overnight stays and revenues. And this is, as you might know, uh, about twice or three times the European average and the uh, Mediterranean average. So this means that we are getting market share, which, which means also we must be doing something right. Certainly. And how is the UK market performing? The UK is the whole performing better than average. So I spoke about a 12% increase in overall uh, arrivals in Portugal. Uh, the UK is growing 15% and it's growing close to 17% in terms of revenues which means two things. It means that this um, the pre-crisis pre level of UK tourism is being reached easily in 2014, so we're going to reach the pre-crisis figures again. And we are qualifying the type of tourists that we receive from the UK, uh, which, which now with a higher average spend, which are two important variables. Now this is seen Portugal as a whole. If you look at the different regions, you have the Algarve, which is growing around the same 15% as natural average. So the growth of the UK tourism is not at the expense of the share of the Algarve in the total, but it's coming from new destinations that um, um, the, the British tourist is finding. So it's not only just Algarve and Madeira, which for many decades have been important. The British tourist is discovering Lisbon and is discovering Oporto. And Lisbon in particular has had growth up to August of 25% in terms of guests and 35% in terms of overnight stays, which is something remarkable. And I believe you have some new flight routes opening up. Yes, we do. It's part of our marketing strategy to work very closely, not, on, not just with tour operators and travel agents, but with, with airlines as well. And apart from all the flights that we have uh, been able to negotiate for this end, year that is ending 2014, for 2015, we have roughly 500, new, 500 to 600 new frequencies that we are opening from, with origins in the UK. Uh, of those, most are from British Airways, it might, it might be, be expected we have a um, significant amount of interest coming from people like Jet2 or Norwegian and mostly to destinations which are either um, growing very fast or new destinations. So the, the northern region of Portugal, for instance, uh, is being one of, the, that has, one of the regions that has shown um, to be more interesting to airlines. And could you tell our viewers a bit about Portugal's new tourism strategy? It's not actually a new strategy in terms of tourism, it's a new strategy in terms of how to promote it. Or to be more specific, to how communicate it. Promotion is a big word and involves a lot of things that we talked about, like airlines and operators and workshops, etc. But in terms of communication of what you're doing, um, we have shifted about two years ago from an essentially offline type of communication, with press and TV, etc., um, into a almost exclusively online type of strategy. This was because we had to find much more effective ways to get our message across and the communication noise that you found find the offline uh, made it impossible for you to make any difference with limited budgets that I think most um, tourist auto organizations have. So we are doing it now for two years and the results are, I think, um, the results that we just talked about, all this growth is we think in part, in great part, to, to do with this new strategy which has allows, allowed us to come in touch with many, many more tourists in a much more targeted way, with very clear messages and much more, much more effectiveness. And I believe in the past Portugal has been the recipient of numerous World Travel Awards. I'm um, just wondering, what does that sort of recognition from the industry mean? Well, it's always better to receive a prize than not to receive a prize, obviously, but we must, it must be frank. We don't work for the, the prices. The prices are, especially when they involve, which is the case in the World Travel Awards, um, a, a portion of the, the voting, which is from people from the sector, revolves, involves a type of recognition, which is always nice to know. And in particular, this year, as you may know, is probably the reason for your question, even the tourist world ourselves, we won a, a World Tourist Award uh, as, best, as best national authority. And that shows us that what we're doing in terms of new marketing strategy and also other new avenues we are exploring in terms of uh, fostering entrepreneurship and fostering a much closer relationship with the digital services providers has been seen by the industry, by the sector as something which is groundbreaking and we are glad to see that. Well, congratulations on your success and thank you for talking with Breaking Travel News. Thank you very much for your interest and all the best for Breaking Travel News as well.